I may be impatient. But since on the back of the packet of seeds, it tells me you need to wait 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it may be, I don't sit every day looking out my window going, where are my roses? I don't hunt about the garden, digging it up to check if they've sprouted. I get on with my life. I cut the grass. I continue to look after other things in my life with an expectation and knowingness that that will blossom. Hello and welcome back. It is so awesome to have so many of you here following us on YouTube. Please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. Today what I'm going to talk about is how does gardening and mindset really fit together? Well, you're going to learn today that actually they're not that different. And I'm going to use gardening as a great concept and an analogy that's going to help you understand how your mind works and how you can get the results that you truly want. Now, let's think about spring. It is springtime and that is usually the time that people will start to plant and there will be start to things come over the next couple of months. Now, the first thing and the first thing that really matches gardening with mindset is the ground. Okay, you plant seeds into the ground, into soil. And as most people know, a seed is going to grow much better in a rich, fertile uh, piece of soil than it will at the side of a road that is rocky and maybe not that much nutrients. So the first thing that you've got to realize when it comes to gardening is if you want good results in your flowers and your plants and your uh, efforts, you've got to plant in good ground. Well, it's the exact same in your mind. Your mind has two components. There's the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The part that I want you to think about today is called the subconscious. And I refer to that, and so does Napoleon Hill and many other teachers of mindset and this uh, area, really look at the subconscious mind as your garden, okay? And ideas are your seeds. And for every idea that you plant in the garden of your subconscious mind, will always move into form. Now, what does that mean? Well, if I plant a rose or I plant, let's say, a weed or a flower or something that you don't want, a nettle, something that isn't uh, most people want, both seeds will grow if it is placed into good ground. So what you've got to realize is you're either planting negative thoughts or planting positive thoughts into your mind. Both will grow because the mind, the subconscious mind, does not care what you plant. So the really important thing is really the gardener. It's really you. Because your garden outside, if it is good, good soil, good nutrients, it will grow anything that you plant. So it's really up to the decision that the gardener makes places intention, I would love roses. I would love a rose bush right there. Not only do we pick which part of the ground that it grows in, but we also want to design it. We want to maybe pick what color that it's going to be. It's only the gardener that makes those decisions. And it is only you that can take back control and ask yourself, what am I continuously planting in my mind? Is it positive or is it negative? Now, the best way, if you don't know, is to look at your harvest. In gardening, you will know that when you plant a seed, you cannot go along, dig it up a day later and go, okay, great, where's my roses? That's not going to work. Why? Because they haven't went through a, what we call a gestation period. There is a time, and because we've went through it many times with roses, everybody now knows there's this amount of time must pass there must be, you must water it, you must feed it, it must get light. So there's certain components, there's actually a process that any seed must go through before it becomes a fully grown tree or rose. So I want you to think now back to your goals. How many times have you thought about an idea or a goal that you really want? You've started to think about it, you've started to feel it. That's you moving into planting it into your mind. But then maybe the next day, 
you're suddenly talking about why you haven't got it, all your limitations, thinking from lack. And suddenly the internal thoughts or the internal conversations start to turn into a different negative vibe. Well, that's just like you going out into your garden, digging up your seed, throwing it over the garden fence and wondering why you haven't got a beautiful uh, rose bush. But I tell you what, if you wait the length of time, you'll actually start to see your neighbor has got roses because the seed that you popped over is now grown into their garden. And what that means in relation to mindset is you must give your ideas time. Now, that's not easy. Everybody wants everything today, yesterday, or last week. And this is where patience has to come in. It's not something that I had in abundance. It's probably not something that you uh, are in the habit of having in abundance. But patience backed with faith is a totally different ball game. If I planted a seed and I had no idea when it was going to grow or move into form, I may be impatient. But since on the back of the packet of seeds, it tells me you need to wait 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it may be, I don't sit every day looking out my window going, where are my roses? I don't hunt about the garden, digging it up to check if they've sprouted. I get on with my life. I cut the grass. I continue to look after other things in my life with an expectation and knowingness that that will blossom. But it will blossom in the right amount of time. Well, this is the same with your thoughts. Now, here is the tricky part when it comes to the mind. If I plant a seed in the ground, over a couple of weeks, I'll start to see it sprouting up. So that is evidence to me through my senses that is growing. That satisf satisfies us in a certain respect because we can see it, it's tangible. It doesn't work like that when it comes to the creation process of how you turn thoughts into things. Why? Because you don't see it most of the time. The only time that you know you've achieved your goal is when you've hit the goal. That is a big stumbling block for a lot of people. A lot of people give up or doubt or worry or dig up just a couple of days or a couple of hours short of when it was going to bloom. And the reason is people are in a hurry. People want everything now. And there's no need for rush when there is no lack in the world. And this is something you've got to understand with mindset. You've got to understand that if you plant the idea, you nurture the idea, you keep your thoughts in alignment with the idea, then your idea will always move into form. How do I know that? That's how everything works. If you even think about that rose bush, have you ever wondered how a little seed this size, when you plant it in the ground and you give it sunlight and you give it water, suddenly you have this plant. Suddenly it's bigger, it's got leaves, it's got color, sometimes it smells. That all came from one little seed. Now, if you do not believe me that when I say your, your thoughts create your reality or your, your thinking mindset creates the world you live in, all you have to do is look at this seed because it's the same energy that grows the tree, that grows the rose, that grows anything that is helping your thoughts grow into a physical reality. The laws of the universe are exact. They work the same way for you as they do to an oak tree, to a rose bush. The energy is there. There is no lack of energy. What has to happen if you want to really create the results that you want? You can choose your seeds. Now, if I go out into a park or go into somewhere that isn't someone's garden, you might see lots of different things growing in different areas. But when you go to a gardener's house who has decided, who has placed intention, I want this here and I want that there and I want this here, they're able to actually create from their mind what they want that to look like. They've placed intention behind it. So when you're planting the seeds and ideas that you have in your mind, and by doing that, you just have to think about them, write about them, get emotional about them. You've just got to be specific. What do you really want? Then plant those seeds 
nurture them by going over them every day, thinking about them. What will it be like when this happens? But you do it from a place of expectancy, knowing that it is en route and not doubting the process, okay? Last point that I would also point on when you think about the seed turning into a great tree or bush, timing is so important because there's always a divine timing for everything. If you think about a rose, let's say that rose starts to grow and it is partially still closed up. If I'm impatient and I wanna see this rose right now, I might be inclined to try and pull and prize the petals open. What will that do to the rose? It's not gonna look so pretty. You're gonna damage the petals. You're going to change the color, the shape. And actually, if you just let it have the time that is required, to actually create the perfection that was in the seed, it will blossom and open up in the most beautiful way possible. Don't rush your results. Don't try an effort and force. Force negates. You'll end up not getting the results that you want. So I always want you to think about this. Are you planting the right seeds? Your mind will accept anything. You can plant anything, negative or positive. You've got to be intentional as the gardener of your mind, of your reality, of what you want. Then you've got to be patient. Then you've got to nurture it with an expectancy of desire that this is going to grow into form. And if you ever doubt this process, just look out in your garden. There's no lack in this universe. We've got to start to really learn from even just nature around us. There's no lack there's a reaping time, there's a sowing time, everything goes through different cycles, different phases. And when you really start to understand how that applies to your life, you can work with effortlessness, just like the trees. You never look out in your garden and when it's winter time, the trees are bare, they've lost their leaves. You don't see the trees running around going, ah, my leaves, I need to get more of them, okay? You don't see the trees having anxiety or panic attacks or trying to grab other people's leaves or other trees' leaves and stick it on them. That just wouldn't happen. And yet, we as human beings operate under the same universal laws, the same universal principles, but yet we have been conditioned to believe that there is lack. So we do have anxiety, we do rush, we do hurry because we have a fear within us. The trees do not have fear. The trees do not have emotions. This is what makes us different from nature. The same energy flows to them, but it's the mindset that differentiates that. If you spend enough time watching these videos, even reach out and book a call with us, join in on some of the things we're doing, you're gonna start to realize that there's a very simple scientific process to creating abundance in your life. And ultimately, it's planting the right seeds, it's nurturing it, it's living your life, getting on with things in expectancy of it. And then also just enjoying how you want to arrange it. What else do you want to create? Everything operates by law, by science. We've got that full process. And I today just want you to ask yourself, what am I planting and how can I learn from this? And don't, whatever you do, go and uproot things that are still in the creation process. Be patient. And if you find patience is difficult, start to give more patience to other people. You will start to see that that brings calmness, order to your mind, and lo and behold, it'll be time to harvest. Your ideas will always bear fruit, always. So just make sure the ideas are what you want. I hope you've enjoyed this short session and uh, I look forward to seeing you very soon. I'm so grateful that you are here on our YouTube channel. Please make sure and subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. Let me know what you love and we'll bring more incredible content to you soon.